Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing another book tag. You may have noticed that I really enjoy doing book tags. Part of the reason for that is I have a difficult time coming up with things to talk about on my own. <laughs> That's true in real life and on YouTube. You may notice or at least start to notice that some of the tags I do are old and you'll be like, why, why the heck are you pulling that out? Nobody's done that one for ages. What happens is I occasionally go and look up book tags to find ones that interest me. If I see something that interests me, I write it down on a list and I'm like, okay, I will do this at a later date. And then when I'm at a loss of which book tag to do, because I didn't necessarily plan it, I was just like, I'm going to do a book tag this week. I can just go and pull one of the book tags off of my list. So today, the book tag I'm doing is called Guilty Reader. It originated with Is That Shami? I have a link to her video below, so let's get to it. The first question is, have you ever regifted a book that you've been given? Yes and no. I did not make it a gift, but I have gotten rid of books before that I was given. For my 13th birthday, I received a book that I wasn't necessarily interested in, but I read it anyway because I had a crush on the on the boy who gave it to me. What can you do? So I don't know when I got rid of that one, but it, it would have gone through one of my purges. Two, have you ever said you've read a book when you haven't? I don't know if it counts, but sometimes I have skimmed books very quickly and then written it down for book reading contests, like summer reading contests, as a teenager. Have you ever borrowed a book and not returned it. Not returning it, no, because I wouldn't do that <laughs> unless there were extreme circumstances surrounding that. But I have kept borrowed books for a bit longer than I think the lender would have preferred, but it's because I liked the book so much. <laughs> have you ever read a series out of order? Yes, technically, but two of those it doesn't really matter because they're practically stand well, one's practically standalone, the other one was an op episodic in nature, so usually nothing too major happened in them. The Boxcar Children, I've skipped books, I've read books out of order. There's really no impact on the story there because there's nothing overarching. The Animorphs I read and that does have an overarching theme, but there are just, there are so many books and it was hard to get them all in order. Some of them bored me, so I basically, I did a pick and choose and I have favorite characters that I liked reading. Also, Chronicles of Narnia, it depends on what you consider out of order. The first book, The Magician's Nephew, I received that my eighth birthday. So I would have read that first and I did not find it particularly interesting. And then I just read it in order that they gave me, which was in the order that the series is listed. But if I were to read it in actual order, it would have been The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe first. So if you count that, it wasn't intentional though. On occasion, if I see a book that I'm interested in, I'll grab it not realizing it's part of a series. So usually now, if I see a book that, that looks interesting to me, I will check on the inside flap and see if there are other books listed. And if there are, then I will try to find the first one either at the library or at the bookstore. Usually usually this happens at the library though. Have you ever spoiled a book for someone? I don't think so. I think most books that I've discussed extensively with people, they read first. And I personally hate spoilers, so I will avoid spoiling anything unless they ask me to. Or unless I know that they're not going to read or watch whatever it is I really, really want to talk about. Have you ever doggy-eared a book? Yes. <laughs> I did that a lot when I was younger as kind of a form of desperation. Since then, I've realized that it does lower the book's attractiveness and value as far as wear and tear goes. But I would not say that I hate books that have been dog-eared. They're just less aesthetic value. I don't do it anymore. And after I grew out of the dog earring phase, I was grabbing bits of paper towel, receipts, toilet paper even, bits of my notebook. So I've never really been one for conventional bookmarks. That is changing. Have you ever told someone you don't own a book when you do? No, no, I haven't. I haven't really, I don't really see the need in that. I have no reason to pretend to own something that I do, especially since a lot of my reading is library books anyway. Have you ever told someone you haven't read a book when you have? 
Again, no, I haven't really had a reason to, and I mean, I don't think I would need a reason to anymore. So really, really no reason for that. Plus, I don't often get asked what books I own. So have you ever skipped a chapter or a section of a book? Yes. <laughs> this is the one that definitely caught my eye on this list because when I was in the summer reading contest, and also it was on my required reading list too, actually, in high school, Lord of the Rings, I used to skip everybody and just read Sam and Frodo. What was I thinking? I still need to read it all the way through 100% all points of view. And I've probably done with that with other books too, actually. I just, I don't remember any of them. Just very specifically The Lord of the Rings because it was huge and I was trying to read it fast. And also I was only interested in Sam and Frodo for whatever reason. And the last question is, have you ever badmouthed a book you actually liked? Honestly, it depends on what is meant by bad mouthing or your interpretation of that question. If it means talking absolute smack about it because everybody else is, no. No, I don't think I've done that. But I have been critical of books that I liked in the past. Even when I was really gung-ho about Twilight, I still had criticisms. And I even put a video up of one. I actually liked Looking for Alaska, but I definitely, definitely badmouthed it <laughs> in that video. So, and those are all of the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this, found it at least somewhat interesting. If you liked this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe below. Also, I have included my Instagram and Twitter links, and I will see you guys later. Bye!